Global human trafficking is the third largest organized crime business in the world. Profits from sexual slavery are now estimated at over $10 billion a year. The low-end estimate for the number of sex slaves in Cambodia alone is over 40,000. At least one in 40 girls in Cambodia will be sold into sex slavery. Somali mom was a victim herself, sold into a brothel at a very young age and forced to endure unimaginable traumas. The brothel owner, they sent me again and again. I never count, but it's alone. In my heart is to suffer. The people can hit me and I don't scare my skin. But it's more difficult thing that we should keep it silence. Somali Mom is a former Cambodian sex slave who is no longer keeping silent. More than a survivor, she's a human rights crusader, saving girls from brothels and giving them a new life. I try, you know, now I, if I do, if I stand up, if I'm here today, I just want the people to pay attention on the victim. I mean, they get Somali is living testament that raw courage can transcend a world of cruelty. She started helping victims by handing out condoms and trying to get sick brothel workers to clinics. She soon found allies and started AFASIP in 1999. She now has three centers in Cambodia, housing 152 children and women. When they first arrived, their children, they have been raped, they are so sad. They look like me before, you know, they are six, seven years old. I was older than them, I'm 14, 12. After to see them, they become children again, you know, she, they go to school, they can laugh, they sleep, you know, they can play. Along with doctors and social workers, AFASIP also employs former victims who spend their time working in the field, handing out condoms and teaching the women about AIDS prevention and health conditions. Where does she get her strength from? AFASIP has rescued over 4,500 girls from the sex trade. But this is just the beginning. There is so much more to be done. I'm so happy to save them, to see them that they become children again. But another time, I'm so sad. I'm so sad because I think that the children they have, how lucky they are to come in the shelter. But how many of them are still in the brothel now? The victim is not their fault. They don't want to be like this. So if we see the girl uh, in the red light, we have to ask the question why they are in the red light, why they are here, why? If you ask why, you can have some time answer. My dream, I want to see my girl in the shelter to become lawyer, to become journalist, to become doctor. They want to be, and I really, you know, if I survive today, I stand up and then I try and then fight. In 10 years, I will see them.